Hi, Altera Home Loans. This is Nikki Hernandez again with Cultural Outreach sharing this week's coaching tutorial. This week I'm going to share how to post a video onto Facebook that is a native file. So it's one way to share a link from YouTube where you copy and paste the link onto Facebook and everyone can see it. But another way that you can post video is by sharing a file that you have either downloaded or that you have personally recorded and saved onto your computer. So I'm going to practice using one of the past tutorials that I've done. So first you're going to go onto your Facebook business page. And then for status, your status update normally pops up like this. I'm going to click photo video and then upload photos video. So I'm going to scroll down to a video file that I've saved. So the video file needs to be an MP4. This is something that you've either downloaded or that you have shot maybe on your iPhone and you've transferred it over to your computer and saved it. So now the video editor pops up onto the screen. So I'm going to add a title to my video. So email tutorial. I'm going to describe my video, learn how to use email content we send. And then it gets a little fun where you can start to add little unique features to your video. So you can tag people in your post. Say if you are posting an interview that you did with a recent customer, you could tag them in that video. You can add what you're doing or how you're feeling, you know, feeling excited, feeling proud. You can check into a location. So this is great for geo tagging. So you can check in at your office or maybe, you know, in the neighborhood where the person recently closed on a home. Tagging a product is not relevant. And then you can add a messenger button. So say if you are sharing an interview and you want to add a button where people can reply in Messenger, it automatically is going to pop up. But if you're like, I don't really want people to have that option, just untag it. I think it's kind of a great way to increase engagement with people. And you can even add a comment, you know, direct message me if you have any questions or if you want to learn how this can be, you know, the journey for you. That's just another nice little option to add there. Then I can add tags. This will help people discover my video. So for me, I would probably tag this as tutorial. And it's not automatically popping up, so I'm going to add it as a new tag. But what if I wanted to have the tag real estate that pops up? What about mortgage? Mortgages pops up. So it will have popular tags, or you can also create your own. And this will just help people who aren't necessarily followers of your page, but it will help them find your video with these different tags. So moving on over to this column, you can change the thumbnail image. So sometimes when you save a video, it might save with a thumbnail image that isn't the most flattering or you, you have a different picture in mind. You can always update that here by just clicking and adding a custom image. Or you can choose a video frame from your video as another option. Now for distribution, choose where your video will appear. So I'm gonna have it on my news feed. I'm going to allow embedding, cross posting. This is a great way if you want to also post it onto your company page. I would click choose pages. It would go to my settings. And then I would be able to add a page. So say for me, I want to post it on Cultural Outreach's page. I would click that. And then I would request the cross-posting relationship. And then I would click Next. 
And then my company page would get a notification and would be able to approve that. So that's also another option that you can get your video out not only on your business page, but also on your company's page. So going back over here, these are just some other options. You can you know, turn off reactions or comments if you want. You can add a donate button if maybe your company is running a, you know, a charity event or a donation drive and you want to link it back to that charity. That's also another option that you can add to maybe that promo video that you would be posting. So here are some other, you know, more specific items, subtitles and captions. If you have a video that's in Spanish and you want to add English subtitles, that's a way that you can do that as well. And then we already discussed tracking, but it just offers, you know, more custom labels and categories that you can add into your video. So these are all the unique features that you can add if you post a native file video, as opposed to just sharing a link from YouTube. So I would fill in all of these different details. I could save it as a draft if I wanna post it for later, or I could publish it now or schedule it for a later date. All right, and that is how you can use the video manager on Facebook to post a unique video. Happy posting.